hello welcome to my youtube channel so today i want to show you guys how to get the cumulative monthly total whereby whatever value that you get in this month add up to uh the previous month and it just keep on climbing up the stairs let's just say we can do this in just two minutes so the first thing you have to do is you have to calculate the measure so let's get the measure going so the first thing first is we want to um, get the total cumulative um measure and uh, the first thing is we have to get the the current date and what's the current date the current date is going to be the maximum date in the date table whatever date table you're using if it's the calendar table whatever thing you're using at all so we're going to return and uh when we return then we will now calculate uh the value that we're actually doing the cumulative total for so in this video is we're going to do it for profit so let's do it for profit and once we do that we're going to filter the all the rows in the table so i'm going to filter all the rows in this table here and uh, i want i want to always make sure that the date is actually less than or equals to the current date which is what we have which is like the maximum date in the table and um, once we do that we are done so Let's test this in a, in a visual to see if the cumulative monthly total actually worked. So I'm going to expand this visual and I'm going to look for the total measure and I'm going to get the month in. Voila! There you can see. So <clears throat> you can see that it actually like display showing us that yeah, the value for the previous month are adding up and is going up because this is how the cumulative monthly total is supposed to look. If this video helps you, Give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, please hit the subscribe button. Be sure to share this video out to someone that is going to help. Thank you for watching. Stay blessed, guys.